Okay, we're recording. Hi, everybody. How are we all doing? Thumbs up. All right, great. Welcome to the JS Core Dev Team Meeting. Core JS Dev Team Weekly Sync. It's February the 4th, it's 2019. Uh, here we are. What do we do next? Uh, if you are an attendee, if you are here, please put your name on the attendees list in, on the crit pad. I will put that in the notes just now. Um, uh, that would be cool. And please, if you haven't already, um, uh, add your weekly update to the notes section. Uh, and what we'll do now is we will do a round of updates uh, where we tell each other what we did last week, what we're blocked on, and what we're going to do this week. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get down to it. Uh, Volker, you're up first. Would you like to share with us your update? Yes. So... I worked on the IPLD selectors graph sync stuff a bit and there isn't any link yet because it's all like encrypt pads and on my machine and so on and all totally confusing so but once there's something something properly proper done then of course there will be issues and we post it somewhere. Then I was at the first time which was awesome as every year. Well it was my second time but so far it's been great. And then I'm kind of blocked uh, by Alan not doing the JS IPLD API review, but I saw that it's on his doing next uh, list, so that's good. So the plan is that we um, get it reviewed and then we merge it and then we can bubble up those changes into UnixFS and then eventually into IPLD. Um, next, I will still work on the IPLD selector stuff, but also start to implement the new IPLD formats API. Um, because I think I also need it for the selectors to make those things easier. So I will do both things at the same time. Um, yeah, that's it from me. Thank you, Volker. Uh, I am, yeah, I actually left a, a few comments today on um, not the implementation, the other one, the documentation one. Um, and yeah, it is on my list to do, to look at the uh, IPLD, the implementation one. Um, Next, you're top of the pile. <laughs> Any questions for Volker? Okay, let's move on. Um, it's me next. Okay, so I finished off the um, upgrade to Happy 18 pull request. It's huge, but mostly mechanical. Um, I also worked on a fix for um, errors being swallowed. So if you start up a daemon and things go bad, then um, what, what was happening was it was just like quitting and not giving any errors. And you had to, had to use the debug uh, environment variable to even see anything. Um, so this fix fixes that, but it also really simplifies the, um, the um, CLI uh, code uh, and allows things like, um, like if you're like echoing hello and piping it to IPFS add and then piping that to um, to CID base 32, what that does is it adds some content and then pipes the CID to the base 32 utility, which converts it into a base 32 encoded um, CID. Um, and previously we couldn't do that because the second instance of JS IPFS, the, the one that is using the CID um, tool, uh, that one was also trying to get a lock on the repo when it didn't even do anything with the repo. Um, so this fix is good for that um, because it means that um, commands basically choose whether or not they're going to use an IPFS instance. They use, they use instead of it being added to argv automatically, it, that it, what gets added is a function that um, the commands can use to get hold of an IPFS. Um, and if they don't use it, then it, doesn't get instantiated that no lock happens. So um, that's just part of that fix, um, which is which is really nice. Um, I created a little tool called IPFS Install Manager. I demoed it on the all hands just now. Um, so if you are interested in that, then go and take a look at the repo and watch the video from the all hands. Um, and I did a bit of work on um, descoping the 2019 roadmap for JS IPFS. Um, I've put a whole bunch of comments and if you have any free time then i'd appreciate your feedback on stuff that i've cut out that you we don't have to do anymore um so yeah cool um blocked on happy 18 pr that just needs a review it's huge but a lot of it is mechanical um 
so yeah, any any review, anyone who wants to look at that is is um, is welcome, um, and that would be really helpful. Um, it it kind of needs to go in now because actually Happy Sixteen now has a security vulnerability. I don't know if they patched it to be honest, but um, but yeah, this would be good for that as well. Um, and uh, a review for the swallowed errors pull request, which now depends on the Happy Eighteen pull request. So I'll need to rebase that. So that's I need that, but not until the Happy one's done. So. Um, next, this week, I would like to do some more work on the CIDV1 base value 2 by default work. I haven't managed to have a look at that yet. Um, I'm going to review IPLD, uh, Volker's IPL DPR. Um, I need to re review uh, Vashko's DHT PR. Um, I still need to look at the benchmarks repo. I opened a couple of issues last week um, and I've got one in progress. Um, but that's me this week. Any questions? All right, cool. Um, let's move on then. Um, next up is Jacob. Would you like to give us your update? Yes. Uh, last week fixed an issue with libp2p start and stop callbacks not returning errors. Uh, this was introduced during the uh, state machine update. Um, start and stop, as long as they were successful, worked fine. But if there was an error, you would not be told about it and it wouldn't call back. So it would just hang. That is fixed now. Um, released the initial version of the JS lib P2P daemon um, that is on the internet. And then I think Vashko is releasing the client. So we'll be able to start using daemons. It's very exciting. Um, and then also released the uh, rendezvous roadmap for getting that out the door. So there's an issue. You can check it out, comment on it, um, request things. So now we can start. Um, on the work and we'll start working with infrastructure to make a plan for decommissioning the star servers um, probably hopefully July 1st. Um, this week gonna focus on the MPLEX performance issues, try to get rid of using both streams and pull streams. Um, and then once I finish that, I will figure out in what state uh, JS Libby to be rendezvous is in versus the current spec, and then work on getting that fixed. Does anybody have questions? That sounds awesome. Um, cool, thank you, Jacob. Uh, next up is Fashko. Hey, everyone. Uh, so in the last days, uh, I released the initial implementation of the lib 2 daemon client. As uh, Jacob said, it contains the basic commands should, such as connect and list peers, and then the DHT ones. The, then the following uh, thing here will be the pub sub commands, but it will be in a future timeline. Uh, then I also reviewed the lipid medium that Jacob uh, released. I made a PR for JSIPFS to rename the local flag to offline, uh, as it happened in Goland. And then in the DHT endeavor, I, I also created a PR for enabling the DHT by default in lib 2 p uh, for nodes. And I also fixed uh, the vids review uh, for the awesome Endeavor PR in JSIPFS. Then uh, as Volker, I also attended the uh, FOSDEM and it was really great. So many folks were really interested in IPFS and lib 2 p So yeah, cool. Uh, and uh, for this week, I will continue basically in the DHT world. Uh, I want to finish the, the connection managers limited number of connections PRs. Uh, I have them open for a while, but I didn't have time yet to finish. So it will be like my biggest priority for this week. And uh, after that, also set up the, in, the initial interop uh, tests using the demons that we now have. And that's it for me. Any questions? Cool. Thank you, Vashko. Uh, cool. If there's no other questions, then we'll move on to Zane. Cool. Uh, not much update. Just JS IPFS repo. Mostly done with the conversions. Just have the test left. PR this week. That's it. Right. Thank you. Um, cool. Next up is... Oh, sorry. Any questions for Zane before we move? Sorry. 
not okay. Uh, Alex. Uh, so I was trying to finish off the NPM IPFS registry uh, integration last week. I didn't get it finished, and then I went to FOSDEM, and now I am very tired. Um, it was most excellent, though. Uh, yeah, so this week I'm going to finish that uh, NPM integration. Uh, I'll ho hopefully opened a few issues on NPM on IPFS, so I'm going to take a look at those. Uh, and then I want to look at um, using the URL store. Uh, for package managers, so that if you if you maintain like an app repository, you could uh, add the CIDs to your metadata and then uh, use the URL store to actually deliver the files to people. That way, you wouldn't need to basically double your hosting costs, um, which might be quite helpful uh, for people. So then, also apparently, we somewhere somewhere in the org, somewhere we have a app get transport that uses IPFS. Uh, which is super cool. Um, I was chatting with uh, Luke, a friend of Eric's, who uh, works on the FTP stuff for Debian. And uh, yeah, I basically asked him like, what 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 would stop him from using it? Like, what uh, what we'd need to do? Like, how we would go about it? That kind of thing. And he mentioned that like, AppGet supports transports, but apparently somewhere we've got one. Uh, so I want to have a look at that, find out what's going on uh, on the package manager front in general. Hopefully, we're going to have a new hire soon. Um, so then he will take over all this kind of stuff uh, and we'll, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Very exciting. Any questions? Silence is compliant. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Alex. Very good. Um, and then we've got Ron. How's it going? Going pretty good. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Um, so let's see, last week I worked on, um, I do some refactoring based on the um, being able to um, allow the test to use different uh, the P2P options. So I worked on that. Also, this kind of kind of did the. There was an issue about uh, test name and description as it's on the dashboard to match the test matrix. So kind of went through the tests and updated all of them at the same time. Um, so I'm not through with the test each test, but have a couple working. Um, so the different um, strategies or the different options for the P2P um, are just defined now based on a flag in, inside the run. Um, so yeah, so worked on that. So this week I'm going to continue working that, finish those up, um, and then keep linking it, adding the links, you know, to the test from the matrix. Um, I do have a question on doing this changes. Um, it started failing for the JS to go tests. Um, I put that down on block. I just have another question, Alan, on that one. Um, wasn't didn't a, wasn't able to find a way to actually add the those type of options for the go. So just if you could point me in that direction, I can get those in sync. Um, they were failing for like the different the wrong protocol being used. Um, so yeah. So this week I will just continue with the test, uh, add as many as I can. Also, going to update the README that include the changes that we made for the flags. Um, and also going to add some comments and hopefully get some about each test. We're going to add comments and then do a document generator to actually have that online and it'll be part of the benchmark URL. So um, I know um, Alex is also going to be working on some of this with me too. So, and that's it for me. Cool. Thank you. Uh, can I just ask a question? Did the issue around, um, CPU usage and memory usage get resolved yet? Is that in the dashboard now, or is that still outstanding? Um, so um, Alex put, um, he, he did do one of them. I saw, I have not looked on the dashboard to see if it's there, but I saw the PRs go through. Um, so that one of them was done. I'm not sure what the other one was. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, we should be adding it. I think the way he did it was a different dashboard. So it's different options, change the dashboard to show that, um, but yeah, I'll have to verify that's done and add the other one. Okay, cool. That's, I think that's like one of the top priorities, I guess, for, okay. for me at least at the moment. Um, uh, okay, well, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do that after this, just go and verify that and then um, just make sure that is okay. higher, because I don't think it was that's higher nice. actually. All right, um, cool. Uh, does anyone else have any questions for Ron?
Okay. Um, in which case we've reached the end of our list. Is there any other things that people want to say or bring up? Um, we're actually ahead of time. So we can just shoot the breeze <laughs> or leave or and do whatever we want. Okay. All right. I, I get it. <laughs> I just want to have a nap. That's all I want. Just a little it. nap. Let's go and have a nap. <laughs> um, and uh, in which case, I will see you all next week. Thank you very much for all your updates this week. And uh, let's let's have a, a awesome, productive week. And we'll see you uh, see you next week for another round of what I did last week, what I'm blocked on, and what I'm do, going to do this week. Um, bye. 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 Thank you.